Alright guys, how's it going? New Age here with some more Pokemon Showdown ladder in sessions and that stuff and yeah, okay. Um, so last episode, I said I wanted to try and do a Chronon team and you know what I'm realizing? The last time I used Chronon was when I first started playing competitive Pokemon and that was back in X and Y and Crawdon was definitely better then. <coughs> I don't know why. It just seems like Crawdon sucks. Like, back when I would play it, just like Dragon Dance, Crawdon was good. With the Focus Sash. You Dragon Dance once, and you sweep like a whole team. It was kind of beautiful. But now, kind of doesn't happen. So I tried making an OU team. Didn't go so well. I mean, I'd win a few games here and there. I tried doing a UU team, but I don't really like UU. So, and I don't like it just because the Pokemon you face and just like, just like the collection of the Pokemon in that tier as a whole, I'm not a big fan of. Um, so, it wasn't going well with that team either. There kept being like one Pokemon that just 6 0 my whole team. And I was like, why is that a thing, like, within a single tier, you know? Like, normally tiers, if you make a team, you have stuff to kind of, like, cover everything somehow, and it's, like, balanced for the most part, you know? But I feel like that just doesn't happen in UU. Um, so I found this team. It's a Trick Room team. Um, <coughs> it's still all right. <clears throat> um just because it it doesn't have any bulk to it like all the trick room setters in the team are offensive so like porygon 2 bronzong reuniclus the pokemon you normally expect to be bulky instead of trick room they just have like max hp but that's it and then the rest is invested in offense and like you could definitely see it come through in some of the battles that i've played so i'm gonna try it out because this is the team I've had the most success with, but still not 100%. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, we got Life Orb Crawdon. Life Orb Bestie Crawdon. You know, the goods. Uh, we got Choice Band Ente as like a late game kind of sweeper. Uh, Porygon, Offensive Porygon 2 with the Trick Room. Mega Ampharos, just offensive. Standard. Um, offensive Reuniclus with Trick Room. And Offensive Bronzong with Trick Room. Mental Herb, Explosion. This one's kind of cool actually, but it like can't take, it still kind of can't take any hits for the most part. Like even a Drain Punch from Conkleder, oh my gosh, that does so much damage to Bronzong. Like Drain Punch plus knockoff kills this thing. And I don't think that's normally the case, but I don't know. Anyways, let's find a game. All right, so we got one, Sylveon hiding back there. Uh, Mega Houndoom, but champ. Uh, but we, if we get a trick room up, Reuniclus can punch a hole in this guy's team for sure. Um, uh, see, I want to try and lead Bronzong, but I feel like that's my only lead for this team. So people know that. So he could lead Houndoom and that'd be much better and put me in a bad position from the start. I'd have to go like hard into Entei or something. Uh, but if he leads Crobat trying to taunt me, I would appreciate that a lot more or even, um, Metagross. So we're going to try and leave Bronze on. Hope <clears throat> he doesn't lead Houndoom. Okay, cool. So I definitely can't take a hit. Like, I don't know why. The difference between, like, max HP Bronze on and, like, invested defensive Bronze on is just ridiculous. Alright, let's see. We can actually live a Dark Pulse. Uh, Fire Blast will knock us out. Uh, I'm just gonna try. Hope he goes for Dark Pulse and doesn't flinch us. Okay. Hey! Off to a great start. So, Bronzong just gets completely wasted there. Um, we're gonna try and get up the Trick Room again. See, this is the same thing. This is how the teams, this is how the battles went every time. 
it was me just pushing super hard to get up trick room and it just not coming through for me um and then i finally do get it up and i kind of punch a hole in their team and then if i'm lucky after that i come through and can like sweep with some stuff but that's it's not extremely reliable like that um i want to go amphros get off the mega evolution and bolt switch need that to happen protect what okay uh well this is really annoying now because my only trick room setter is susceptible to taunt so we're gonna try and go over uniclet see what happens oh sad i guess i don't know maybe i should always leave porygon at least that one can take a hit uh this shouldn't be able to knock me out okay except with explosion that is what it can knock me out with so <clears throat> A little unfortunate because I feel like there's a lot I can't do now. But let me see, is my Crawdon minus speed? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I don't think I can win this one, but I feel like if I keep Mega Amphros, there's a chance. Although I got like the worst matchup here, so let's see. And I don't know what kind of Sylveon this is either. So let's assume it's Choice Specs. And see how much it does to Entei. Not much. Flare Blitz does knock it out. And I really need to keep this thing alive. I wanted to keep Crawdont for priority. But I'm just going to sack it here now. Because it was going to be faster than my Mega Amphros. And I needed speed. Or not speed. Well, I needed um, health on Mega Amphros to try and help me win later on. Yeah, Hyper Voice was definitely knocking me out. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like he doesn't really have a switch for this. Even, I mean, something like Gyarados. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see, how much can Entei do to Sylveon? Let's like assume he's choice specs. Because Stone Edge can do it KO. I'm gonna try it. He does go Gyarados, come on. Oh, damage, boy. And if I get rid of Gyarados, you know, I'm gonna go for it again. Um, I can definitely, uh, yeah, he's definitely going my champ here, and he is going to resist that, of course. But now his Gyarados isn't a switch in, unfortunately, I think I still lose. Uh, Entei can 2 it KO Crobat with E-Speed. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do to this Machamp. Yeah, E-Speed doesn't do enough. I have to go out in Amphros and hope he doesn't do it KO me. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, it's a dynamic punch. Like, what am I going to do? So, here's the situation I'm left with. Because I can outspeed this thing and definitely knock it out with Flare Blitz. I can actually knock it out with Sacred Fire. Hmm. And I do knock out Gyarados. But how much do I do to Sylveon? Sacred Fire has a chance to knock it out. Yeah. So we're going to go with that. <clears throat> He's going to go Gyarados. Oh yeah, it does lower my attack. I don't know. I mean, I'll stick around. Just to see how much damage I could do. The Intimidate was a little unfortunate. <laughs> GG, it's over. And if I can like crit him, oh, I don't even need to crit him. Dang. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Crobat knocks me out from here though with uh, Brave Bear. So a little unfortunate, but this this is the same way it goes every time, and Entei always ends up being the last one. Because the whole team is Trick Room except Dente, so I end up going through trying to use the Trick Room. Okay. <laughs> this dude was enjoying himself way too much. Um, but yeah, the whole team is Trick Room except Ente. So it ends up being like the only one left. And then I'm forced to have to try and lock myself into one move to hope to win a game. So, like I said... The team's alright, but like even then I came close to winning, but I feel like I didn't do anything with the team, you know? Like it doesn't function how it's supposed to, I feel. But let's get another game, we'll try it again. Alright, we got another one against the x -Bloud. All Alright, well, you know, screw it. Let's try what I said. Let's start with Porygon. <clears throat> See if we can get the Trick Room off right away. As he leads Gyarados. Oh! Damn straight. I do have Thunderbolt on this, so. But he's gonna go for sub. I should be able to beat this thing, though. Like, definitely. As he's gonna go for bounce. Um. I kind of just wanna go into Ampharos. Because then I can't get paralyzed, and I should be able to take it just fine. I'd rather keep Porygon healthy for now. As... <laughs> um, that was funny, as he ends up being the one to get paralyzed. So, pretty cool. Um, I am just going to go Dragon Pulse. As Is he actually staying in? Okay. Sure, friend. Go for it. As he should not be slower than me, but... I'm gonna click Volt Switch here. Okay, now he switches. I The only reason I was gonna click Volt Switch was so I didn't end up out into this, but I can go Bronzong and set up Trick Room again on Dawn Fan, so I'm not stressing too hard. As he goes x -Bloud, we should still be able to take a hit from this thing, so. Well, maybe not. Okay, he has Overheat, which we do actually manage to take, which I'm assuming he's not, um, he's not Specs then. But I'm just gonna go for explosion. He can go aggro on here for sure. Yeah, that's okay. Um, as now, I mean, I could just smack aggro on. Yeah, it's time for Uniclus to attempt to put in some work. I mean, he doesn't have a focus blast switch here. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take that damage. And Shadow Ball. I hope would take it out. Okay, he switches. I'm cool with that. So Gyarados goes down. Not too bad. Yes, he's gonna go back into Dawn Fan now. Um, what hits this the hardest? Trick Room versus Dawn Fan. Focus Blast, yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try going Porygon. I only have one more turn anyways. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because I knew I would get the special attack raise. Yeah, I'm gonna go Trick Room again. Because he switches, so, you know. Take those. And... I think I do just want to go over Uniclus. I don't know if he would U-turn. Okay, he knocks off and crits us. I don't know if that mattered. It's whatever. Um, I'm just going to go Crawdont now. Let's put in some more Crawdont. He doesn't have a switch for Crab Hammer at all. We get three turns. That's like three knockouts right there. So he's just gonna go out to Agron, sack that. Cool. Cool beans. As Dawn Fan isn't an answer, but it does have sturdy, so 
Oh, we're still going for Crab Hammer anyways. Ooh, nice crit down to the sturdy. It's gonna knock us out. No? Okay, well, we died a life orb, but still. Um, I don't really want to go for Aqua Jet, but I guess I will. In case he were to, like, switch. So now, let's see. You can definitely go Mean Shao. I have nothing else to set up. I can't set up Trick Room while he has Mean Shao. That's what I was trying to say. <clears throat> Let's see. How much can Entei do to Mean Shao? Not enough. That's how much. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Well, because he could go Gardevoir too. Alright, well, we take that well. We could take a. Mm, I don't know. I feel like Entei is just my best bet. How much can I do? Yeah, I can't do enough to Gardevoir either, but. I feel like this is what I have to go out into. An attempt to get up Trick Room later against Gardevoir or Xblad. So we're gonna E Speed. For sure, not knocking this out. And he is Life Orb with Regenerator. As he's gonna High Jump Kick, that's gonna knock us out. All fine and dandy. Uh, yeah, we lose. Unless we dodge a High Jump Kick. Only hope. But, I, yeah, I didn't even want that to happen. I didn't want to rely on that. So, both of his mons should be faster. But either way, he has a Gardevoir. And we're not going to take uh We're not going to take a Moonblast or anything like that. Yep, there we go. I mean, honestly, I'm like... <laughs> I knew what I, was, what I was coming into when I started this live. So, I was just like, I'm going to go for it. I don't think it's going to go well, but I'll give it a shot. I'll try. Hopefully, I can get low enough on the ladder to where I can just start playing bad people and beating them. But, for now, I mean, damn. I, I tried. I went through three different teams. A OU team, a UU team, and this team was caught on. And they weren't working out. So... A little unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? All right, what is this? Can we beat this? This team does look more like, um, I, I feel like this team struggles more with straight up offense, but like balanced or potential like, um, I don't wanna say stall, but yeah, I guess stall teams. Um, this one has a better chance at beating. So, if that's the case, let's see. I feel like I have to lead Bronzong because he could taunt me with Sableye if he wants to lead with that. So, I'm definitely going for Trick Room right away. He can taunt me with this too. As he decides to just go for the Bolt Switch. That's chill. As he goes Sableye now. So, you know, I'm cool with this. Um, I want to go Reuniclus. I don't feel like that's right, though. I mean, let's see. Entei to Sableye? Like, yeah, this thing gets blown back by Sacred Fire. But he has an Entei of his own, so I'd have to go for Stone Edge. And I can't, I don't want to switch in Reuniclus because I can't touch it. Yeah, he kind of has switches for a lot of my stuff. Mega Ampharos. Mega Ampharos doesn't do enough. I don't think so anyways, especially when he has switches. So I feel like my best bet is to just go Entei and then go for a Stone Edge. As he goes for knockoff, so that's 
even worse. Because now, I don't even know if we can two hit KO Sableye. So that was a little unfortunate. As he's gonna go into Blastoise over his own Entei. So yeah, better play. Um, now I don't even know. I mean, I have one more turn left, so I can go Ampharos. I don't even think I can get a Bolt Switch off. As that does a ton. I'm gonna try. But, yeah, he's just gonna go Needle King. And now I'm like stuck in this situation. I don't know. It's kind of like, it's like I know these things are coming, but I feel like with this team, there's nothing I could do about it, you know? It's, it's one of those kinds of teams where I feel like I don't have the answers that I would like to have. <clears throat> and the dude who posted this team was like, I got to top 10 in UU. I'm like, how? Like, this team is kind of booty. I'm going to go out into Bronzong, though. As he's going to get up his rocks. And I can go for Earthquake. So, let's do that. As he is most definitely going Sableye. See, and I don't even know. I'm not even Flashfire Ente. Like, how lame is that? And he can just burn me at any time with Crawdon. I'm just going to go Ampharos. Go for, like, Dragon Pulse or something. I don't know why he keeps going for knockoff. I'm going Dragon Pulse. I, he's definitely staying in this time, but I still do decent damage to him. So. He is faster than me, but knockoff doesn't take me out, so. If he goes for knockoff, I'll die to rocks next time I come in. As he's gonna go Cobalion and. Damn, that takes a ton. And I'm just going to Volt Switch. I mean, I don't know what he wants to do, but he could easily just knock me out here. Okay. Or nah. <laughs> or nah. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of getting rid of Hazard, so that's another thing I get to deal with. Um, I think I for sure want to go Crawdont now, because I don't want to let Sableye... Sableye faster than me? I think it is actually faster. That's a little upsetting. I'm just gonna go Crawdon anyways. Because it'll make him think that I have that priority. Yeah, I don't know if what he what he would think would be better, but I just wanted to pressure the Sableye so I could get rid of it. I'm just gonna Aqua Jet here, get off damage. And then die. So here, I'm pretty sure I can set up again with Bronze on. So I'm going to do that. I do still have the explosion that could come in handy at some point, but not while he's got Sableye around. I can Earthquake here. He can't switch out into Sableye at the moment. Now he can go Sableye. Which, that thing is extremely annoying. Um... As I'm just gonna go Entei, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, Sableye's defense is naturally higher than its special defense. So I don't wanna risk download giving me the wrong boost. <coughs> so here, I'm definitely going Stone Edge again. I don't wanna just let the Entei come in for no reason. As we actually do a lot of damage to that, so that's pretty cool. I feel like he's gonna go Blastoise here. No, he's just... okay. I mean, I have a high chance to crit you, so... You know. You can... you can keep doing it. Is he just like waiting for me to miss or something, or what? <sighs> Alright, this will be the turn I click Sacred Fire. Let's see, can I get a burn? I do get a burn. So, pretty legit now. Um, and now I can go Stone Edge again. Yeah, he's gonna go Blastoise here. Not bad damage. I think I will save Entei because I am faster, I believe, than Needle King. So it's kind of worth 
And I mean, not really. He has his own Entei. But I think uh, here's where I want to sack Ampharos. Just so I could come in with Porygon and set up the Trick Room again. Will this one give me the special? Yeah, this one gives me the special. So I can set up Trick Room. Um, he can go Sableye and try and recover, but with my special attack boost and me being faster than him. Okay, I was going to say, if this dude flinches me, he's a coward. So we knock out the Blastoise, pretty chill. It's looking like we could take this one, but he does still have Entei in the back, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to go for Ice Beam, does just as much as Thunderbolt, and he is burned, so... Does he recover more in the end? Not really, right? I'm just gonna go for my own recover here. As he stays in now, and or it doesn't recover that time. <coughs> so a little unfortunate because I actually could have taken him out there, so that's annoying. But I'm gonna click Ice Beam as he goes into Entei. And here, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. And no. I should have trick room. Yeah, even though he could knock me out, if there was a chance for me to live, I would rather have gotten off trick room than try to get damage. Um, as his Entei... I don't know how much this does to Reuniclus. Entei to me. Uh, Sacred Fire doesn't knock me out. So, this is kind of the only shot I have right here. The burn doesn't matter. I don't even have a cover on this thing. Um, I'm clicking Shadow Ball. As he decides to stay in, I don't know why he did that. Why did he do that? I don't think I've beaten him, but he gave me a chance to now. He definitely gave me a chance to. How much do I do to Nido King? Like I said, I don't know the calcs for it and everything, but... He definitely gave me an opportunity making that play. Earthquake doesn't kill. What's he going to do here? I'm going for Earthquake. E-Speed doesn't kill me. Yo. He kind of just threw the game. Okay. Well. Um, explosion does more. Explosion actually kills, so. I mean, unless he's Sucker Punch. Then I think he wins. Nope. Okay. All right, well, Bronzong pulling through in the end right there. Luckily, though, the games are going by pretty fast, so I can definitely get another one. So we will be right back with another game. All right, we got another game. Ugh, this one. This one actually, if anything, looks really weak to Entei, so that's pretty cool. This, honestly, this is like, is Krona and this team good, or is just Entei good? Like... So far, I feel like Entei has been the only one putting in work this game. I don't even know if I could lead with, because, like, all three of my Trick Room setters are weak to Infernape. <coughs> Ugh. Yeah, I do not have a good time getting up Trick Room against this guy. I'm going to lead with Rongzong. Nope, he does lead Infernape. I swear, I want to. I want this to be like heat proof instead. I don't know. I feel like this has been losing to like dark and fire types more so. If anything, uh, he does just decide to go for U-turn. So pretty cool. He might be choice then. Just like having to predict something like that. Um, so we're gonna get up the trick room. I don't think Bronzong does well against the rest of this guy's team. Oh, but I'm intimidated too. So. I was gonna say, so I kind of just want to, uh, I kind of just want to go for Explosion, but, hmm, 
knock off, does knock me out from this range. Yeah, let's just go for explosion. Get off what we can. As he decides to get up stealth rock, so that wouldn't matter though, because yeah, he's definitely bulkier. Because it says driver ball does 40 to 47, and explosion does 71 to 84. So that's nah, that's not the case. That's not the case, friend. Um, so here, let's see. Crocodile has naturally lower special defenses, so I'm gonna go into Porygon. I should get the special attack raise, and he his team doesn't appreciate like Ice Beam plus Thunderbolt, so we're gonna take out the Crook here. <coughs> See who he wants to go into. Decides to go into Crow Gunk or Toxic Crow. Uh, let's see. What? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna stop spelling these wrong. Porygon 2. Offensive against Toxic Crow. I don't know what kind of set he is. I just want to see what kind of damage I can do. Uh, we could do a pretty decent amount actually with Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Or should I try switching? No, I don't really want anything else to take damage. Granted, well, I was going to say, granted, two of my uh, Trick Room Setter Uppers are gone, but. Ooh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Luck pulling through. Um, I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam, it does the same damage as Thunderbolt. Sorry for all my coughing guys, by the way. As he's gonna switch into Ronum, and that just drops, so... Not bad, Porygon. Now he does get to go into Infernape. Um, but I do think he's choiced. So if he wants to go for close combat, then I get a free Trick Room with my Reuniclus. So, I'm gonna try and go for Trick Room in case I can live it. As he goes for U-Turn again. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah, he just forfeits. <laughs> yeah, like, if he wanted to stay in, in close combat, then that is just fine. Because I knew he was choiced right away just by how he was playing it. So, I definitely would have just got Trick Room up again. And from this point, um, Reuniclus could have punched a big hole in his team. Um, Ampharos would have been able to do better, but I think after Trick Room and everything was gone, Ampharos would have been able to clean up, or especially Entei. Because basically all I needed to die was Empoleon. Um, in a sense, everything else was just like super frail. So not bad. I managed to pull through another game. Mostly that was just because of the d guy like predicting wrong with his Infernape. Uh, I really want to try. I'm really, I'm really interested. I'm gonna try heat proof. <laughs> See how it goes. See if it comes in handy like a bows. Or we just lose to some kind of random ground move now. Like a uh, Swamper. Maybe he just won't uh, go for a ground move because he assumes I'm <laughs> levitate. Alright. Um, I think Porygon is a good lead here. I. The only thing it doesn't get up Trick Room on, no, it gets up Trick Room on everything. It just doesn't appreciate Lucario, everything else I should be fine. But he's not leading with Lucario, for sure. Um, so my attack goes up, so this tells me he is not defensive, he's definitely offensive swapper. So I'm going to go for Trick Room, he's going to get up Stealth Rock, that's fine. Um, I don't think I should go hard into Reuniclus. I don't want to though. How much does Crawdon do? Let's see. Mega Swampert versus Crawdon. Crawdon. Yeah, I, I don't think he's gonna Earthquake. Waterfall doesn't do that much. And, uh, well, we can't knock him out, so. <coughs> hmm. 
Waterfall is going to do a lot to everything. I'm just going to Ice Beam, I guess. I don't really like that damage, but it actually does go for Earthquake. Hmm. Why does he think that's his better option? I don't know. I'm going to Ice Beam now. I feel... Oh! I was going to say, I feel like he should go for... I'm going to take this opportunity to attempt to recover. He could always um, defrost at any time, but... Oh, he has Heal Bow. Is what I'm getting from this. Um, I'm going to go Bronzong now. Because I can get up my rocks as well. <clears throat> while, he has to, while he has to waste a turn doing that. Actually, wait, I don't have rocks on Bronzong. Ha! But I can get Trick Room up. Salby, huh? Bronzong, how much do I do? I am not going for Explosion, just in case. He's a smart cookie. Also, that does nothing to if it's defensive. I actually want to find out the damage right now. I want to go for Gyro Ball, just to see. Alright, he's especially defensive, if anything, or especially offensive. But either way, Gyro Ball did a ton. So, I'm going to go for that again. Because he can't really keep up with the damage from that. As he's Rocky Helmet, Defensive Mandibuzz. So I'm assuming... Yeah, Explosion does kind of nothing to this. Um, I don't want to switch anything into a Cronaut. Or into a Knockoff, other than Cronaut. So I'm going to go into that. As he foul plays. Um, and he doesn't have a switch for Crab Hammer, so I'm going for that. Okay. <laughs> JK! That's what I meant, JK. That's what I meant. I'm just gonna Aqua Jet, I guess. Hey, I got a crit to make up for it. Um, I don't know why he's not roosting. Like, I feel like that's definitely the play to make. But I'm gonna go Porygon here because I'll get the special attack boosts and I can Trick Room again. As he's gonna Toxic, so a little unfortunate. Um,. I'm going to Ice Beam here. He knows I have Ice Beam though. I'm pretty sure he's going Blissey. He's going to go Chandelure. I should be fine from this thing. Ah. People responding to things on YouTube. I'm just going to Thunderbolt because that Ice Beam did <laughs> surprisingly large amount. Um, and then I'm going to Ice Beam again since apparently Thunderbolt almost knocked it out. And I will still have one more turn of Trick Room up. Blissey is faster than me. It's not faster than Bronzong. How much can I do? Bronzong, I think, could knock it out. <coughs> With Explosion. Uh, not really. Is this the time, though? His team is really weak, and I don't want to give him the option to be able to heal up like that. Um, so I think I do just want to go for Explosion. As he goes Mandibuzz now, that don't that doesn't knock it out. Oh my gosh, I should have knocked it out. Um, let's see. I can't switch around too much against this thing. I feel like I need to save Ente just for Blissey though, so I kind of have to um, go Ampharos and Volt Switch. I'm gonna take damage, which is a little unfortunate, but I don't really think I need this, as he's gonna. Wait, when did he heal though? Was that a thing that happened? If I knew that, I definitely would have Dragon Pulse. I didn't even realize. All right, well, that's a little unfortunate. I mean, it. I feel like it kind of doesn't matter because I feel like Ampharos was doing nothing that game. Um, and I for sure get up my Trick Room. I wish this thing had Recover, I really do. As, I kind of just want a Psy Shock, like if he wants to stay in he'll die, or at least I'm pretty sure he was going to die, I don't know if the crit mattered, and if he wanted to go Mandibuzz then I'll just attack it the turn after. So alright, this is the plan that I was trying to do, is bring him Reuniclus, get the Trick Room up and punch a hole in his team, and then sweep him after uh, with whatever's left with Entei. I don't know if he's going to let that happen. Shadow Ball should knock it out. Um, or no. I was going to say 
because he was physically defensive, but no, it was actually the other way around. So that could have not knocked it out, but that's what I would have gone for anyways. All right, so here I'm gonna Psy Shock. Yeah, that's crazy damage, and that doesn't knock us out. So that's cool. The only bad part about this is he, I'm pretty sure he still wins because he was saving Chandelure. Hmm. And I can't, I kinda can't do anything. Also, why am I pressured? Like, flash fire is a thing, right? Oh, dang, never mind. Okay. Okay. Because I know a lot of other Entei's run flash fire. I am faster than the Chandelure, depending on what it wants to lock itself into. Because I feel like I kind of need to switch, but I also don't think I outspeed. I'm going to do this because I feel like this is my only chance, and hope he goes for a fire move as he goes for Shadow Ball. Um, so yeah, there, there was no chance. Oh, and he scarfed, so yeah, that's GG. GG. <coughs> Um, cause I would have died to extreme speed after that anyways. I basically just wanted to save Reuniclus in case there was a chance. Um, because then that would allow me to switch up my moves. Cause if I log myself into Stone Edge, there's no way I was going to be able to beat Lucaria. So it was pretty much a, a wrap right there. So I guess I'll try one more game just because I kind of want to have faith in this team, even though it's basically done nothing but lose this whole time. But we'll try one more time. All right, we got one last game. Um, let's see. Who does he lead here? Uh, I feel like Bronzong. I'm gonna lead Ampharos. I'm gonna try that. Don't ask why. Just doing it. Just doing it. It's in my gut. Let's see if I get blown back. Oh, pretty much. All right. All right. It's time, Bronzong. Come through with the heat proof. <laughs> okay, so he might actually be choice. That's interesting. How much do I do to Hydragon? I have to imagine it's a lot. Oh yeah, Gyro Ball does a ton. Alright, but what if he's Scarfed? Okay, it doesn't change. <laughs> Man, because Explosion could kill. Nah, screw it. I'm going to be ballsy. Dang, Explosion didn't even kill. Hello? Alright, well. Damn. Uh, what's Hydreigon's defenses look like? Alright, they're even, so... Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Not getting the right boost off that. Also, I'm pretty sure Reuniclus from Sha um, Shadow Ball from Reuniclus can knock it out, so... Yeah, that'll knock it out. And nothing really wants to take on Reuniclus, so... I'm down. I mean, we get rid of Hydreigon, that's cool. This team is pretty weak to Dark types. So we'll see what he wants to go on to now. Maybe Empoleon, I guess, or Beedrill and try and just protect Stall. Um, Suicune if he really wants to. I don't feel like that would work. How much does Psyshock do? Because it hits on the defensive side. Focus West does more, always. Actually, I can't do much to this thing anyways. Why are Sweet Coon's defenses even too? Um, here, I think I just want to go straight into Ampharos. I don't think he's going to attack. As he goes for sub, so even worse for me, actually. <coughs> but I can break the sub, so that's nice. Basically, get in and out with Ampharos. Clean. 
not having to worry about it or anything. I was more so thinking he would go for Calm Mind, not really all that jazz. Um, I'm gonna go Porygon, because normally these are supposed to be defensive, so. This could give me, yeah, the special attack boost. Because he's gonna sub again. Um, and I'm gonna Trick Room again. I mean, Burn would not be the worst thing, to be honest. So we're gonna Thunderbolt here. I mean, I don't know. Can you Calm Mind this off? I'm at 508 special attack, friend. That's damage. That is damage. Let's see it. Oh, dang, we get a crit. Yo, I have to know. Porygon 2. Nah, that crit didn't matter. Plus 1 does 81 to 95. Wait, how much did it do? 75? Ooh, maybe it did matter because he was at plus 1 also. Oh, that crit mattered actually. Because it does 60 to 71. Ha! <laughs> That is hilarious then, actually. As um, we are slower than this, so catch this ice beam. Oh my gosh, we crit him again. That <laughs> I'm pretty sure that mattered too. Let me see. Oh no, that didn't matter. That one definitely didn't matter if he was defensive anyways. Um, I'm gonna go for a cover because I'm pretty sure it's in his best bet to protect here to waste my last turn of Trick Room. Um, I'm pretty sure he can knock me out, but in case he doesn't, okay. Never mind. I overestimate sometimes. So he's gonna go Empoleon. Um, I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt because I think at this point, uh, Reuniclus can definitely clean up, especially, oh, hmm. Let me see. Empoleon, if you're specially defensive. Shadow Ball does 23 to 27. Oh, Psy Shock does more. Why don't... I don't want to risk you being a weird set. I can just go Ampharos anyways, actually. So, never mind. Go Ampharos, Volt Switch, out into Reuniclus, and then win. Should have gone into Crawdont. Now that I think about it, <laughs> a little upsetting. Oh, and he has protect as well. It, okay, or nah? You could have like, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, GG. I guess. I mean, damn, that was a weird game. But it was one of those where like, you know how you get in battles and you see those teams and you're just like, hey. Now that looks like a team I could beat. That was definitely that last game for sure. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry, UU you, is not my deal. It's not my thing, I don't like it that much. Unless I have just like a full offense team with like a million Entes. I feel like fire types are so good in this tier. Like Entei, Darmanitan, Embor. Like damn, chill out bro. Maybe someday I'll build a team with that. We'll see what happens. But otherwise, I don't know. I don't think I'll be hanging around in OU very much. But hope, or you, 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 you. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New Age Till. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.